Well, welcome to a happy edition of the Expert Analysis here on NewOrleansSaints.com. I'm John DeShazer. As always, we are brought to you by Microsoft Surface. Now, obviously, not so happy occasions the previous two weeks when the Saints didn't win. However, a 34-0 victory over the New England Patriots on Sunday at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. And here is one of the defining plays of this game. You have to start with the Saints defense because they pitched a shutout, and that's rare to happen in the NFL. Now, here's the situation. Seven minutes, 11 seconds left in the first quarter. Scoreless game, and New England is third and six from the Saints 24 yard line, as you see. Now, two guys you wanna pay attention to defensively, right here. This is defensive end called Granderson, who's gonna really make the play. But this guy right here, Tano Passigno, really affects this play, even though he doesn't get a whole lot of credit for it, but he extremely affects this play, and we're gonna let it go and show you exactly how he does it. And we're gonna freeze right here. See Passigno? He splits that block and forces both blockers to commit to him. And that allows Granderson to loop around and force the pressure. And then here's Tyron Matthew. Let's not forget him because he's going to end up with the interception and the pick six. But these guys make it happen for him because watch the rest of this. You get the contact, bam, freeze right there. Easy pickings for Honey Badger. He takes it to the house. Seven nothing Saints, we're gonna let it run through. Easy because now he, there's no one near him in a New England jersey to stop that play. The Saints get the defensive pressure they want on that play. They get the result they need. You don't get the sack, but sometimes the sack, not getting the sack, results to an even better play because you can affect the quarterback and force a turnover. And we're gonna show it again to you from another angle. Now this is from behind New England's offense, and again, his passing you, who's really going to make this play because of the pressure he exerts on the inside between these two blockers. And then all Granderson has to do is loop around and get to the quarterback. Honey Badger is about right here. He's gonna end up with the interception, 27 yards, his 30th career interception, and one he takes to the house. We're gonna let it go. And you'll see that pressure coming from the right side of the defense right there. The hit, the interception, the return, the lead that the Saints really didn't need to pad any more than that because they pitched a shutout, but still they went on to win it 34-0 to beat the New England Patriots, and that is your expert analysis.